he was on the phone and he goes, how about walking down all around that road? And he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big job, just a little, tiny little drop and he's going down there. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back, because I think someone else was ringing him. And he, he probably, if you're thinking like me, he would have went back up and started walking around the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill. Like you could hear the rocks. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road. Because you could hear like, if, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's storms. Were you concerned at that point? And not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it. I think he said, Look where I am. We were just met. I was didn't seem concerned on the phone until we knew how far away we were. Yeah. I said, Put your location on. He said, And I would, and a 50 minute drive or a 14 hour walk, I don't know if it's accurate or not. Yeah. So I said to him, Well, it's only a 50 minute drive, get a taxi. This new info just leads me to further believe that Jay Slater is dead. But what do you think happened? And importantly, do you think Jay will be found alive?